All right, guys, in this video, we're being asked what percentage of the shape is shaded. So you can see to the right here that we have a square inscribed in a circle. And in order to do this problem, you're going to have to understand the following. In order to find the percentage of the shape that is shaded, essentially what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the shaded area. So shaded area and put it over the total area. If we do this, this is going to give us the percent of the shape that is shaded. And again, notice that we're talking about area here, right? So we're going to have to find the area of these shapes that we're given. So again, we're given a square inscribed in a circle. So we have a square in a circle. So again, it's going to be shaded area over total area. Let's erase that. So first step, what is going to be the area of a circle? Well, again, we're not given any value, so we're just going to go ahead and write out what that would be. So area of circle is going to be pi radius squared, right? And then we know that an area of a square, well, that's going to be side squared. Now, I'm not given any specific values here, so I want to try to keep my variables consistent. So I want to figure out how I can write this in terms of r, right? Talking about the radius, so how can I write this s squared in terms of r? Well, if you look to the right at our shape, if we were to draw a diagonal going from corner to corner of the square, we know that this is going to be the diameter of the circle. Or in other words, this is going to be 2 times the radius. Okay? And you may also notice here that we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw that out. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this is 45, 45, and 90. And the properties of a 45, 45, 90 triangle are the following. We have x, square root of 2, this is x, and this is x. So essentially what I'm saying here is the following. I'm saying that 2r is equal to x square root of 2. So 2r is equal to x square root of 2. So essentially what I want to do here is solve for x. Because again, if you look at your square inscribed in your circle, this side is going to be x, this side is going to be x, right? So if I solve for x, I'll have it in terms of r, right? So I'm going to solve for x here. So I'm going to divide by the square root of 2, divide by the square root of 2. This will cancel. So essentially you have the following. You have x equals 2r over the square root of 2. Now we want to rationalize the denominator here. So doing that we get the following. We get 2 square root of 2 r all over 2. We can see that the 2's will cancel. So in other words, x equals the square root of 2 r. Right, so now we have it in terms of r. So the area of this square is simply going to be, in other words, the square root of 2r squared, right? Because that's what x equals, right? The square root of 2r times the square root of 2r, right? So we can go ahead and rewrite this the following way. Let's go ahead and erase our triangle and our work here. So it's going to be the square root of 2r squared. So in other words, the area of our square, again, doing this out, we'll get 2r squared. Okay, so here is the area of our circle. Here is the area of our square. If I want to get the area of this shaded region, I'm simply going to subtract the 2. So I'm going to do area of circle minus area of a square. This will give me area of a shaded region region, right, or SR for short. So doing this, we're going to get pi radius squared minus 
2 radius squared. Okay, and this is going to be the area of my shaded region. Now, going back to what we talked about at the beginning of the video, we know that in order to do this problem, we're going to have to do the following. We're going to have to take area of shaded and put it over total area, right? So here's the area of my shaded right here. Here's the area of my total, right? My total shape, that's going to be this circle here, okay? So doing that, we get the following. So area of shaded over my total area, and here it is. And we can go ahead and rewrite this. Again, I have two terms up top sharing the same denominator, so we can rewrite it the following way. Right, and then we have 2r squared over pi radius squared, okay? So we know here that this whole thing right here is just going to reduce down to one. So this becomes one minus, and you can see here that my r squared, well, that's going to cancel. And I'm just going to be left with two over pi, two over pi. And what we're gonna do is plug this into our calculator. So doing that, we're gonna get the following. So we're gonna do one minus two over pi, and we're going to get 0.3634. So 0.3634. Again, I just rounded. And then we want to write it as a percent, so we simply multiply by 100. Right? So our final answer here is going to be the following. We're going to get 36.34%. And this is going to be our final answer, right? So that is the percent of the shape that is going to be shaded. All right, and that is it.